Can come out, however. Good post. Also, oh, the go! Oh. Going in for the play, but he gets stunned immediately. And Ryu blows into pieces. Stayos chasing down and carries the miracles, doing what he can. But the ult is out onto Ola. That should be enough for the killers. Ryu grabs the double. Now Flash out of the roots from a miracle. He's going to get a bit of time in the bottle from Kira, but this turret is going to mount. They might chase for more. Odo, he really wants it, but they'll take what they can instead. And where H2K is reading the map, parsing through all the information, ANX is doing the absolute opposite. Complete tunnel vision. Join, basically just watching your screen, nothing on the minimap. Oh no, Yankos in again, kicks him forward. Kira does get the ulti off, but there's the calling down. Kira forced to fat flash over the wall, but HGK is still going. Because Liquid goes blind, he sees nobody in the top lane. He must know that they... HGK. <laughs> <laughs> he got him over the wall. Seven Fates get a miss, but what a snipe there from Kira. TP down from ANX. They're going to try and salvage something. Why didn't they TP in below them? Look at that ward. I don't know what to tell you. But here he goes. The kill slows on Tiago to the boomerang. Liquid, see you later, is forgiven. Takes him down. More kills forthcoming. And Smurf now has to run out of the way of the rest of H2K. Ryu, he's got it. Could just turn it and kill these guys if they want. They have the vision. They see them coming in. They will look to punish the Baron first. Oh my god, he stole, he stole it! it! Odo Omni's gonna take him down, but Miracle stands his ground and slays Odo Omni. Smurf gonna flush his way in, but he's caught in enemy territory. Yanko's able to take him down, but Kira keeps the game afloat. Doing some weaknesses, and there's definitely a morale boost here for ANX as the crowd gets behind them again. And with Steos actually moving to the bot side here, NH2K so far up, they're gonna have to be careful. They actually have no vision whatsoever. Steos is gonna get behind them. We'll see where the Colonel go. Oh, it's Forgiven now gonna get comboed in by the crit. Forgiven trying to dash out of the way, but here comes Elise as well. Vanda now has to move out of the way to get TP coming in from Odo on day. Vitaling gonna move back in, looking for Forgiven. Exhaust is down and they're trying to cut it out. Odo finally makes it in and ANX just don't have enough. Kira is finally gonna make it, but Odo gets first blood again. As H2K, they're gonna try and book at the ulti there from Kira, but it's not enough to take out Odo, and now he's gonna slay. Odo finally goes down, but Yankos goes back in, got no kick. Ryu in here with a massive format. Hemo playing, flash type the bot, looking for a little bit more, but Kira gonna stun him up again. Likrit does go down to Yankos on the other side of the fight. It's a disaster. Smurf turns it around. Stranglebone's gonna knock him up, and he goes down as well. It's just not enough to save anyone. And A and X is just gonna range here. Not getting into Q flash range ever, which meant Likrit had to expend this flash, which means no dash backwards. But watch a miracle here. He just turns around. He's not even getting involved. The TP comes in. He's like, all right, we're out. The rest of his team is all in. Where's the TV the TP coming in from Smurf? That is like a full five seconds late after Odoane. They're just not on the same page at all. And if Smurf TP'd in first, I think they win this fight. Definitely if the gauge is a coordinated effort here with the TP. Miracle, that was his first auto attack in over 10 seconds, it feels like. Yep, definitely great job pointing that one out, and that's honestly the change for this fight. If you are the team setting up the play, you gotta commit, you gotta throw all your resources at it, especially when you have a role play like the Syndra. Definitely a big weakness. And Steos has to respect that. Ow, Kira's actually in trouble here. It hurts a lot. Kira in one trouble. Q. Ryu needs one more. Can he land it up? There's the flush. There's the Q. Solo kill first blood for Ryu. Oh, yeah. oh, couple minions. The potion. potion. <laughs> Always pop your potion early. So got the red buff here. So just look at Kira. He's walking forward into this, taking so much damage. Kira wants to flash the next Q, but he's like, I don't even need to flash, bro. I can just keep autoing you very close there on the end, but because it's a potion ticking, it works. Helps clear out the wave. Wave priority gets the red buff. To kill Smurf. Off. This is hard. Yanko's gonna kick him in. Lands the Q. Smurf gonna get attacked on. Does go mega. Well, it's him over. No, into the wall as well. But that's just enough to get out. And that one hits him. Yankos just snipes him with a resonating strike. Well now, and this is so well done. Oromne knows his jungle wants to come top, so he's looking to trade aggressively early on. Yeah, double pink wards on the minimap. They even saw Lee Sin in the jungle, but at one point, there's nothing you can do. You gotta overextend to maybe get some CS, some experience, because otherwise, being afraid of the gank will cost you more than the gank itself. And then, a couple nice things here. Perfect kick into Q. Smurf gets next to a wall, which means Odo Amne's skill shot is perfect. He predicts the juke slightly, which puts him next to a wall. That means Q can't miss from, uh, from the Lee Sin. So it's all these little things. And yeah, as you said earlier, Azale, bot lane turret at 30%. Raise the fall. It's just continued pressure.